You know, Ryan, I've been thinking about Christmas. Okay. And I think it's time we watched my favorite Christmas movie of all time. Die Hard. Okay, fine. My second favorite Christmas movie of all time. Die Hard 2. <sighs> fine. My favorite Christmas movie, which was filmed in the city we live in, Edmonton, Alberta. Snow Day. In the mid-2000s, the citizens of Edmonton, Canada were confused. Why? Because in the middle of summer, their beloved West Edmonton Mall still had their holiday decorations up. Yeah, I think I remember the mall saying they were trying to spread the Christmas spirit year-round. It was kind of weird. But then, the secret was revealed. News broke that they would be filming a Hollywood movie right here in Edmonton. That's right! It's called Christmas in Wonderland, and the plot centers around the one and only West Edmonton Mall. The biggest mall in the world! Uh, yeah, it's not the biggest mall in the world anymore. Oh, well, the second biggest, then. It's not the second biggest, either. Third. Sorry. Fifth. Nope. Eighth? Nuh-uh. Please tell me it's the top ten. Sorry. Ugh, top twenty? It's tied for 19th place in the list of the world's largest malls. Ugh, man. It was the biggest mall in the world, though, right? I'm not imagining that. No, you're right. And it held its title as the world's largest mall until 2004, when the Jin Wan Mall, known as the Great Mall of China, opened in Beijing. West Hampton Mall still is the biggest mall in North America, though. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, right, the movie! Well, let's pop this bad boy in. So, if you want to film a Christmas movie in the largest shopping mall in North America, how do you go about doing that without interrupting the most important shopping season of the year? Well, you film it in the middle of summer and you use expert scriptwriting skills to cleverly communicate to the audience why there's no snow in the movie. I'm sorry to report there won't be a single solitary speck of snow in Edmonton this season. We're headed for what will be the warmest Christmas in our city's history. The family has moved from Los Angeles to Edmonton, and they're not adjusting all that well. Okay, so what's wrong this time, Danny? He doesn't like Edmonton. He said it sucked real cojones. Well, I can vouch for that. Edmonton does suck the royalist of cojones. And just when you thought, it couldn't get any worse. Laid off? You haven't even started working yet. How can they lay you off? Put this place back on the market and move back to L.A.? I don't know. The kids sure don't like it here very much. Well, that's all the more reason to get them something for under the tree. So, now all Dad has to do is convince the kids to go out to the mall. What was your girlfriend's name? Cheyenne? Shane. Shane, right, right. I'm definitely not going now. Okay. Then that means none of us can go. Christmas will be ruined and everyone will hold you responsible. And unfortunately, I won't be able to buy you that Xbox 360 you asked for. And they're off, hitting the mall to fulfill that holiday tradition of buying all your presents on Christmas Eve. What the... Did, did they just CGI the outside of our mall? I think they did, yeah. Alright, that's it. If we're gonna do this, we gotta do it right. What the heck are you talking about? You don't mean... That's right, we're going on location. West Edmonton Mall, here we come! You know, I'm just not seeing it. Well, I think you have to rotate it. Let's, oh. Let's, oh, like, like, like 90 degrees? No, 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 no. 90 oh. degrees the other way. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Wow. Double wow. Triple wow. This is definitely more than I expected. Yeah. Look at the size of that dome. 
Yeah, and look at that. They have an actual pirate ship in here. Weird. Wow, this is definitely more than I expected. Dude, we live here. Did you look at the size of that dome? We've been here literally dozens, if not hundreds of times. And they have an actual pirate ship. Who are you talking to? So the dad goes off to do the Christmas shopping while the two brothers take their little sister to see Santa. Who it is? It's the big orange boy. Oh, the orange and blue boy. The kids decided to go visit what I'm pretty sure is the most creepy Santa I've ever seen. And older brother pays younger brother 10 Canadian dollars, it's about a buck 67 US, to watch their sister while he can go creep on some girls in the water park. In an attempt to stalk a girl, he hops the fence. And no one seems to bat an eye at the fact that he's the only one walking around in street clothes. Seriously, there are no less than four employees in this shot alone. And none of them seem to care that this guy clearly didn't pay the entry fee. And finally, he meets the girl of his dreams. Hi there. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. My mistake. Look at that reaction. Why is he so bummed out? He was expecting a pretty girl, and darn it if he only met another pretty girl? And she's even smiling at him. Why is he so bummed? This guy must have really high standards. So the kids are off doing their thing, exploring the mall, skating around, and above them, Chris Kattan and the one guy from Jackass are hatching a plan. We take this money, right? We go to these stores, and when we pay with the phony money, they give us real money and change. Get it? When suddenly... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. They drop their bag and our heroes find it. Unfortunately, the evil duo saw them and are just about to go get it when their boss arrives. Which makes total sense. I mean, if you were going to run a counterfeit money operation, you definitely want to dress pretty low key. The kids take the money and decide to go on a million dollar shopping spree, while the bad guys go after them to try to get it back. First, you gotta think like a kid. Imagine your little kid, you buy $200,000, what will you do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did he just say? $200,000? Every reference to money up until this point explicitly says $1 million. It even says right here on the cover, two kids, a mall, a million in cash. What could go wrong? How could they mess up the amount so much? So I guess the kids are going on a $200,000 shopping spree. They're eating food, playing with toys, trying on clothes. They're even buying dirt bikes from Chris Hemsworth here. And now, even Big Brother is searching for them throughout the mall. Where are they? I am in hell. Wait, this is hell? You know, this doesn't seem that bad. Big Brother finds the girl he's been creeping on, and at the same time, the bad guys find the kids. Then show me. I don't have to show you anything. Wait, Sonny! See, I got the girl! Go, 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 go. Oh, I gotta use a phone! Yeah. But for Big Brother, it turns out that love is in the air. So, how long have you lived in Edmonton, Daddy? Dude, that's where we're from! They just mentioned our city in the movie! So, do you like it here? To be honest, I hate it. I hate it too. I'm never gonna dance again. Feet got no it sucks, Royal Cojones. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> How did this get funding from the National Film Board of Canada? The rest of this movie is a group of kids being chased around by bad guys. and really flapstick antics. That is until a little bit of magic happens. Come and play with us, Daddy. Forever and ever and ever. Ah! 
so now the kids are getting payback by riding motorcycles through the mall and dropping water balloons on Carmen Electric. So the kid drives a dirt bike through the mall with apparently no consequences whatsoever, and our bad guys crash through a window into the water park. Dude, I could so totally break this glass. No, you couldn't. That stuff is so thick. All right, all right, stand back. Watch this. Did, did it break? Hello? And the little girl leads Carmen Electra to the roof where... Wait, what is she doing? I think she's committing premeditated homicide. <gasps> oh no. Oh wow, that girl is fantastic. In the end, everything works out. My favorite thing about this movie is how it shows that the best part of the holidays is family, you know? This is gonna be the worst Christmas of my life. Cannot be my kid. When I find those little creatures, I'm gonna kill them. Tell me what box the frying pan's in or I'll put you up for adoption. Cause if you do, I'll kill you. Well, it looks like everything worked out in the end, huh, Ryan? Except that the dad is still out of a job. I'm Nichols. I'm the owner of this joint. Say, you wouldn't happen to know something about ranching, would you? Matter of fact, I do. I grew up with it. Why? That I got this little spread, and I need someone to run the place. Now, if you're at all interested, why don't you come and see me after the holidays? Turns out, they all have a happy Christmas, and isn't that the most important thing? You said it, pal. Oh, and Ryan? Happy holidays. But it's July. Dear Mary, thanks for believing in me. Oh, one more thing. Go to the front window. Shitter was full! You know, as much flack as I give this movie, I actually really enjoy it. Sure, it's cheesy and poorly acted in some areas, poorly written in more areas, but damn it if it hasn't worked itself into my holiday traditions. I watch this every Christmas, and every time I do, I like it. There, you have me on record saying it. I like Christmas in Wonderland. What do you think of Christmas in Wonderland? Do you love it or hate it? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a like and a share. These things really help us out. And why not check out one of our other videos, all about the greatest indoor show on Earth, West Edmonton Mall. Oh, and thanks for watching.